Now, I've made over $1,900 selling my photos on Adobe Stock. And in this video, I'm gonna show how I've made money over time, as well as my best selling photos on Adobe Stock. Thanks for watching. My name is James Wheeler, and I've been uploading my photos to Adobe Stock since 2014. So my Adobe Stock portfolio has over 200 photos in it, and I've had over 2,500 downloads. So over here, you can see my sales by month from 2015 till now. As you can see, it's fairly flat with a few spiky spots where I've made additional sales. So typically I can count on Adobe stock to give me about 20 bucks a month, but this past February I did have one month that was over $60. However, you look at my stats quarterly, Adobe stock does seem to be rising a little bit for me. Q1 this year was by far my best quarter in Adobe stock, and I've still had a couple more weeks in Q2 of this year, so although it probably won't be as good as Q1, it's going to be better than most of the quarters I had from previous years. So now that you've seen my monthly and quarterly stats, Let's go take a look at some of my best photos on Adobe Stock. This photo here is by far my most popular stock photography photo. So it's no surprise that it's also the most, most popular on Adobe Stock. With over 700 downloads, a full 30% of my Adobe Stock downloads come from this one photo. However, this second photo is a bit of a surprise. This photo has not done well in any other stock size, and many of the other stock sites actually rejected it. So it's a bit of a surprise that it's my second most popular photo on on Adobe stock. Now, if you're new to stock, you'll find that this happens quite a lot. You'll have one photo that will do really well on a particular stock site, but not well on others. I kind of think there is a bit of a luck of the draw when it comes to stock photography. I think probably what happened was when I first uploaded this photo, a couple of people bought it right away, which ended up raising the photo in the search rankings. And once it's been raised in the search rankings, then it just kind of snowballs and you get more photos. So it's not always totally about the type of photo it is, but sometimes a bit of luck of the draw. However, one thing that I have noticed with Adobe Stock is that panoramas typically do a bit better on Adobe Stock than they do on the other stock sites. So that's why I think popular photos vary so much between different stock sites. If you have a different theory on why this happens, let me know in the comments no below. I'd love to hear it. Now, these next two photos aren't in the top five of any of my other stock sites, but I typically do see them in the top 25 of other stock sites. So it's a not a huge surprise to see them here. This next photo is like one of my top sellers in October, but doesn't get a lot of sales the rest of the year. It's pretty easy to see why. So next we have another panorama. Now, this one actually does get some sales on Shutterstock, unlike the other pan panorama that I showed you. So this next one is an old photo that I did back in 2012. I like the composition of this photo, but I do not like the way that I processed it. Back then I was experimenting with HDR and I was posting those photos to the stock sites. But this is something you'll find. I think rarely I find my favorite or the photos that I think are the best sell well on stock. So as I'm experimenting or as I'm learning with photography, I always just upload the photos and see what happens. And you get surprises like this one where 60 people felt that this was valuable enough for them to download, even though I don't think it's a very well processed photo. So those are the top seven, but as I scroll down, you can see that the rest of them are a variety of cityscape and landscape photos, which is what most of my portfolio contains. Now, every month I create a stock photography earnings report where I go through my stock sales on all the sites. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications button because it's a great resource so you know which are the best stock sites selling right now. Also, if you'd like to see my best selling photos on Shutterstock, I've got a video on that and I'll put a link up here. Best of luck selling your photos online.